Day one for the Sanderson Farms Championship, Megan. Uh, Tammy, the tournament started with the Pro Am today, and the golfers did have to deal with some rain. 16 WABD's Ross Brown spoke with the tournament director about this wet weather. A soggy start to the week for the Sanderson Farms Championship. When, a, when you're a golfer, you're playing anything. <laughs> so we're, we're just happy to be here. The weather's not great, but it's, it's going to get there. I'm hoping the drizzle will stop, so we'll see what happens. Sunny, warm the next few days. So. Steve Gent is the executive director. He says after months of drought, this wet weekend was a good test for the green. I think the rain was good for the golf course. Um, it's in great shape. It drains really well. But tournament leaders hope they'll get back to sunny skies before the first round on Thursday. Five years ago, experts say the PGA event made an economic impact of almost $25 million. This year, leaders expect to beat that number. We think um, that number could be upwards of $30 million. And rain or no rain, the pros say there's something about this Mississippi tournament that keeps bringing them back year after year. Since 2001. Oh, wow. Okay. So, yeah, quite a few years now. And, um, yeah, it's just, it's, it's one of, uh, feels like home, you know, sometimes. So, always love coming back to Mississippi. In Jackson, Hadass Brown, 16.